I still don't know how to make an intro. Hello everyone and welcome to I Guess This Is Gaming because I guess this is gaming. I have no idea what I'm doing. There, this is a mess. I... Uh, right. Today we're going to be playing Stanley Parable. Now, this game is very strange, in my opinion, because I've just gotten... Oh, I just had an opening of a office block and I forgot to record it, but hey, we're going to just roll with it. So this game appears to be in an office block. And we've been stuck in this desk for an hour without a single order. Very mysterious. Very unlike an office job, where you sit there and do practically nothing. Can we go into other people's rooms? Nope. Nope. No one's here. All of his okay. co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Hmm. Let's head over to the meeting room then. This should be fun. Right. Hmm. Now, where's the memo room? F awaiting input. Ooh. What's that mug say? Hello? What's that mug say? I can't read it. It's who something. I hate Mondays. What are you, Garfield? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Suspicious British narrator. No, I'm going to the this door was on the right. This the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Okay, so literally this is just an empty office block. Um, it's very suspicious. Ah, Please don't yes, jump scare me again. a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Hmm. It's nice. It's a coffee machine. I love coffee. Dirty beans. But yes. eager to get back to business, right. Stanley took the first open door on his left. I'm not going to listen to the narrator, I just don't want to. Let's go, let's go this way. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. <laughs> well, yeah, maybe they like a bit of adventure, huh, Mr. Narrator? Oh gosh, it's so dark. I can't see anything because it's bright light. Um, hold on a sec. That's better. Turn up the gamma a bit. Where does this go? Ooh. Broken door can't be unlocked. And we have... Whoa. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really. No. Not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. This is I don't like this. I really your don't. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. He's her. He's her. That's locked. Um, I don't trust that door, and I don't trust the narrator. Um, oh, I should have jumped on the real crap. Uh, I guess we have to do this now, right? Okay. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this, to reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith her. in another. Then pick up the phone. <laughs> Can I get out of this room? Is there a way out? 
Or wait, can I? Am as Stanley picked up the phone, a white light engulfed him, filling what? him not just with radiance, but with hope. Hope for a life reunited one... Wait. Oh, goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? Huh? No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did <laughs> yes. you do that? You actually chose um, incorrectly. I have a big brain. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. What? Wait, no. <laughs> no, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to uh, white, um... roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed um... to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? What? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> <laughs> of I can't course I believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you have made any more wrong choices, <laughs> you might have negated it entirely. It's, it's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on Look, my dude, watch. Look, dude, I really I'm don't stop care for a about moment, So we can rules. educate you properly on safe decision-making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video choice what? oh it's the best part of being a real person ah. but if used incorrectly can also be the most dangerous for example in this scenario a hypothetical real person named Stephen like has music. a choice <laughs> he could spend years helping Stephen. improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house which choice would you mm. make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense, and at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in okay. all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and um. practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. My goodness, is it 4.30 or am I having a back glass? Practice? My god, is it 4.30 or... Excellent. Back glass? Making choices on a regular basis what? is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. What's going on? Most medical professionals me. recommend making me? at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? eight. Less? And finally, if you begin Could to I wonder if your tea, choices are actually meaningful both, and whether so. you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise really to test that. and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah. Ah, right. welcome back. You may have noticed that hey, this room has up? begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Oh, I don't like this. I really don't like this. Like, yes, this game is very funny. Yeah, it's, it's fantastic. But. And I, just, I don't like It's like. It's got like an underlying, like. You don't matter type of feeling to it. And I don't like now that it. we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying Can I jump off the platform and die? Please, the please. That can, story can they let me off, sir? No sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Ah. Okay. Only one. Okay, I can't jump, so I can't jump off the edge and kill myself. Hmm. Decision for life. Do not jump off the edge and kill yourself. Oof. Um. Right. I guess we're gonna head back up and into the office. What's that? Hold on. Like. Oh, crap.
crap. Hmm. Now we're back into the office. Now what? Hmm. Almost there. Now back You'll into take the, the door on the left. Back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Hmm. What if I continue? What if I don't do? Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That oh, means we're choosing back responsibly here. and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I'm gonna go on the right again. No! Why did you do See that? Phantom. Quickly, hurry back in the other <laughs> direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Open the door. Open the door. I want out of here. I want out of here. Oh. Oh, the numbers are changing. Oh. Right. <laughs> Can I not? Can I not go through here again? Can I not screw with the software? It's time to go open up to the real world, Mr. Anderson. Okay. What the? Okay, apparently we're in the abyss uh, of it's whiteness. Ruined. You, I can't believe after everything we talked about that you. My story! You've destroyed my work! Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so my special friend. about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. You can't jump. Is it better to shut the game down <laughs> Thanks, entirely? To willingly game. destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. Oh, I, have I go to back. shut the game down. I have to. I have to. No, 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 no. I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. What the... Um... That's cool. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wait. I'm still alive. I'm, oh, I'm, uh, I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. You. Who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you've run it into the ground. What? Did you think that would be funny? I can't see. You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even All occurred right. to you, had it? That there's a world outside nope. of you? You're a child. Oh, my story. Yes, no. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. Just behave exactly as Stanley would. That means what? choosing what? responsibly and what? always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just what? follow my lead and you'll be fine. Why am I back All here? Right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I'm gonna go on the right. I'm sticking to my no. right is always Why right. Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry. Is behaving oh. exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly oh. and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> no. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No, I'm going to continue going right. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry. Hmm. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just Am follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, 
He entered the door. Yeah, yeah, open the doors. No, ow. No. Door! Get out no! of the way. Right. Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry. His behavior. Hmm. Ooh. Where am I? Where did when I go? Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Um. I can't see anything. Hmm. Um. What two doors on his left? Okay. Hmm. Begin the game again. Resume game. No. Um. Where am I? <laughs> Can't see anything. Hold on. It's internal darkness. Nothing's happening. Hmm. Game is now paused. <laughs> That's a nice touch. Um. Hmm. Can't even hear myself stepping. Hmm. I'm gonna wait. See what happens. So, um, how have you been? How's your day been? Uh, are you sure there's nothing here? It's just, it's just a game. Life is meaningless. So your problems are so much less. Are you so much smaller than you think? Hmm. There's a lot more things that are more important than you in this world. There's billions of us. There's only one of you. All right. Um. I don't know what to do. Hmm. Begin the game again, maybe. Right. Let's see what happens if we begin the game again. We continue going on our right. All right. of his co-workers were gone. Back. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Right, maybe... When Stanley came to a set right, of two continue. open... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. This is all Sam. Yes, this room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No, okay. Hmm. Maybe Stanley okay. So maybe this time we can. Directions. It's incredible. He wasn't five years ago. Maybe this time we can. Look, we can Stanley, answer the phone. I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy. Yeah, really yeah. Heard you. I realize that investing your trust think, in someone else can be difficult. I think we'll answer but the, the phone. fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone oh. you've been neglecting. Wait, oh, <gasps> wait. There's this gear. But maybe the okay. Phone can wait. <gasps> really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I no, want something I bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but Freedom. I really do want to help you to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove. I'm out of here. Let me prove nope. that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Nope. Um, I'm now listen work. carefully. This, this is important. Stanley walked oh. through the red door. I'm going for the blue door. Uh -huh. Perhaps you misunderstood. Uh, Stanley walked through the red nope. door. No, I'm going for the blue door. Going I to the still blue don't door. I think we're communicating properly. 
Stanley walked <laughs> through the red door. Is there a door backwards? <laughs> All right, fine. maybe I can go, go back. ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see, oh. there's nothing here. Oh. I haven't even finished building oh. this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed oh. developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire yes. story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You give me absolutely mm. nothing so far. This is absolutely This is what? insane. Like, take a stab in the so dark many different paths. Oh my god. How feedback. many endings are there in this game? There we How go. many paths can I go? Option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. I'm gonna stick right. Oh, you sassy okay, suit. I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Why is it looking like something Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Uh, okay, we've got five. Uh, one. I'm gonna go. One. I mean, I can understand if you had reservations, you saw ways the game could be improved to more fully Keep pressing express all itself buttons. mechanically and artistically, but a one? That's not even helpful. What am I supposed to do with that? Uh, but I guess it isn't my place to judge. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Have you? Have you? Oh. <laughs> Stanley Parable World <laughs> Worldwide Leaderboard. <laughs> of course. Hmm. Right, let's go for the orange door. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel what? motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Hey, I nearly three. forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. This game is Let so weird. There's so many options. I didn't even do that. Bruh. In this Bruh. Game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him <laughs> back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. All about the desperation and tedium of Press endlessly the confronting the, the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Oh my god, this is boring. Burn! Burn! Burn with the rest of them! Heartless bastard. Did you do it because you hate babies <laughs> or purely to spite me? Because if it's oh yes, matter, I do. I Especially when you're on an airplane for five hours. I you know the pain. Of you know the pain of being on a plane with a crying baby? It's pain! Oh, I'm going to try. I'm out. I'm out. This I'm suck. Done. It's over. Thank you oh. for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Um, this seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Um. Okay, this is really weird. Like, I love this. It's kind of like. Well, Stanley, is this any better? <laughs> At last, the one thing you've always desired. <laughs> Why is it Minecraft? I have absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? Well, I can't when jump I for the this, first part. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. Oh. Where? Where's he building a house? Go. Here. No, here. 
And then... Oh. <laughs> Minecraft? Let's see, what oh. does it mean? I, uh, yes, of course. And just to finish it all off... Yes, it's complete. I made this Stanley. Look at it. Gaze upon my work mm. of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Mm. Ah, but you've only mm. seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. Wait, can I... Can I mine anything? I can't. Um... Hmm. Guess we're going in the door. Isn't it grand? Isn't it perfect? It's it cozy. could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of duck. So basically my recording cut out on my uh, camera, so I guess we're gonna have to continue going on like this. So let's get back straight, let's get straight back into it. Oh! Oh, okay, he said he wanted to go mining, so... Where's my pickaxe? Where do I get my pickaxe? Oh, we've got a hole. The music is a tad loud! Is there a way that I can take an alternate route? Nope. Yep. Um, flashlight. Oh my. Nope. It looks like it's going Camera to get a bit flashlight. dark. Have you brought a light? L. Nope. I can't see it. You can't jump. I'm stuck. Uh, crap. Stuck. Hmm. I'm stuck. Fantastic. Um. Hold on, give me a sec. Oh, I got stuck in the Minecraft level, so crap. Get out of diamond. Right, we're diamond back because um, yes, I yes, got yes. stuck Come in a on, hole, Stanley. so yeah. Oh, I should have. Oh, bugger. Hmm. Right. Uh, let's try. Let us try something different. Um. Oh my! It looks like it's going to get Minecraft a bit dark. Controls? You brought a light. Um. Nope. It's stuck down here. Don't go down there. Hmm. I don't know. Right. Oh. Okay. Make it going somewhere. Oh, no, 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 no. This is far more open ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes oh, you feel okay. utterly irrelevant. Oh. This won't do at all. One right. Five. Even the all right. diamonds couldn't so save that's the end one. of Minecraft. Okay, um, new game. I guess we're moving on to the next game. Okay, my question is, why the hell is there Minecraft in this game? Well, it's actually one of the earlier versions, I think. Dude! Why are we playing Portal? <laughs> Yes! I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. Oh. Oh, trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. It's... I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure Glados? it out. GLaDOS, are you here? Okay, now I'm GLaDOS. curious. Let's go find the out toilet. what the hell this is. <gasps> Why have we got... Put this in the toilet. And, uh... Oh, oh, this is open-ended. Oh, there's no portals. Right, let's go. Quickly, quickly, quickly. 
Right. Ooh. Oh. Right. It's a um, Critical I've actually never played the original Portal, but this is cool. I played Portal 2, but I haven't played this one. Genius. No, actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these games, and I highly doubt you're any wiser for the experience. Which is why, rather than continue to waste my time, right. I'm just going to leave you here. You can pretend you've beaten the game if it makes it any richer for you, but as for me, I've had enough. So, why don't you get cozy in this room, and if you have any grand revolutionary ideas for the perfect video game, you can just sit there and let it ball up inside you for all eternity. I don't need your advice. I don't need your ratings. And I certainly don't need the validation of a man whose job is to push buttons. I think I'll just go about my business making meaningful cultural contributions to the world. And perhaps every now hmm. and then, I'll think back to a man named Stanley who was objectively Goodbye. wrong in every decision he ever made. The thought won't last long. Goodbye, Stanley. Good luck with your work. And I sincerely hmm. hope that everyone lives Can't happily leave us ever here. after. There's a hole. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. Or should I? <gasps> I'm back. Can't see. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. I can't see anything from my point of view. Oh. Okay. Oh, uh, we're falling again. And we're falling for eternity. For life? For life. I honestly can't see anything. Hold on, give me a sec. Turn off the light. I know this looks bad, but I can't see anything. Yet again, I cannot see anything. Okay. Oh, it's blue. Follow the blue line. Follow the blue line. Right. Ah. Ah. Hmm. I can't. Right. There's the blue line. Walk upon it. Hmm. I can't. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Cannot see. Can't, hold on, is there a way to options video field of vision uh, aspect ratio? Uh, is there gamma? Model texture. Hmm. Extras. Uh, see. Oh, saves and achievements. Why are achievements disabled? Hmm. There's a wall here that I can grab. This is a box. Hmm. 
Oh, right. Moving. We're moving. No, we're not. I cannot see anything. Hmm. Right. I think we'll start the game again. Right. Much better. Please let me know if I'm doing something wrong when it just fades to black and I'm walking in darkness, but... Right. Yeah, yeah, I know it's your game. Let's do, okay, let's do it your way. All of his co-workers were gone. Right. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting Let us room. Go. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. The left door. Mm-hmm. All right. When Stanley came to a set of two open left doors, door he this. entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping ah, he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, there's nothing under here. Um... But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished? His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Hold on. Maybe. He Why is himself, this repeating? Maybe I am Why crazy. is this repeating? All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all? None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began... Oh my god! No. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange, this can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. Okay, his are we in like a space loop or something gone. like that where- He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. What? So, Whoa. he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. What? Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field. And it too appeared. It was so much mm. fun. And Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. Good Why question. Was <laughs> Very good question. Sooner? Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Right. Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly all strange. Right. All right. I'm all dreaming right. about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, 
He knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself yes, too, surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to what? wake up. <laughs> he felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment, and my wife, and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I oh, am still here. Okay. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. Uh oh, it's I have okay, a the screen's going red. Why? I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. What? <laughs> this is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up oh. on a day like any other. Stanley. She rose, no. got dressed, gathered her belongings, Stanley. and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself hmm. how lucky she was to be normal. I am saying no one really knows I that. am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment of that she stood there, staring down at the body. Right. And then she turned and ran. We successfully got... This is never the end. Oh, no. Was that always been there? No. <laughs> All right. We're back. You know what? I think after this crazy adventure of um, wandering through office blocks and or playing Minecraft and also playing Portal and also burning a cardboard baby alive and also breaking the fourth wall, breaking the sixth wall, I find this, no, this game is amazing. I hope to play more to this game. It is funny. If you want to play this game, I deadly recommend but anyway, I think this is a great way to end off this um, adventure. This adventure is not the end, I think. There's going to be plenty more videos yet to come. Thank you for watching. Uh, I guess this has been I Guess This Is Gaming on the I Guess This Is um, A YouTube channel. Channel? Yeah, call that. I don't know how to make an outro. Goodbye!